let's talk about some virtual labs for that type swayam on a google chrome and click the link so when you click on the swayam uh, link swayam central link so this page will get open so get yourself register for the for swayam courses and if you don't want to register yourself click here let covid 19 not stop your learning continue with swayam so click here and this page will open now click on conduct scientific experiments virtually so when you click here so this is the interface for virtual labs and it is an initiative by mhrd under the national mission of education through ict so first uh, we should understand that what is uh, what is the meaning of virtual lab so virtual laboratory is a computer based activity where students interact with an experimental apparatus or other activity via computer interface or uh, virtual lab is an online simulation of a chemistry lab so it is designed to help students link chemical computations with authentic laboratory chem chemistry so the lab allows students to select from hundreds of standard reagents and manipulate them in a manner resembling a real lab so there are uh, so many options for virtual labs in different subjects so we are mainly concerned with chemistry so click on chemical sciences so when you click on chemical sciences so these different types of virtual labs will um, appear in front of you and these are contributions by uh, these institutions iit Ka kanpur iit hyderabad etc so these um, virtual labs were contributed by these institutions so if you want to explore for example let's start with inorganic chemistry so click on in organic chemistry virtual lab so when you click on inorganic chemistry virtual lab so these uh, there is list of experiments so choose any experiment from the list so let's uh, take an example of acid based titration so click on acid based titration so click here for simulator now click on simulator so simulator will, will get loaded in a few seconds so this is the simulator right now if you see on the extreme uh, right of this uh, window there are options available this is variables if you click on this so these are variables titrand you can choose the titrand for example hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid or uh, oxalic acid or acetic acid for example i i choose uh, hydrochloric acid then you can adjust the speed of titrand it is 0.1 right if you want to increase the speed you can increase the speed to 0.2 ml or 0.3 ml so you can adjust the speed of titrand then for titrate there are many options sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide ammonia sodium carbonate for example i i'll go with sodium hydroxide and you can also select the normality of titrate 0.1 normal or you want to go for 0.2 normal or 0.3 normal so uh, let's uh, uh, take it as 0.2 normal now volume of titrate right volume of titrate can also be adjusted uh, default is 10 ml if you want to change the volume you can uh, convert it into 11 12 13 14 15 um, etc then you can choose indicator also for strong acid and strong base i'll choose i'll go with phenolphthalein indicator so click on phenolphthalein and then start click on start so when you click on start the tit uh, titrate will start falling in the titration flask right 
and when there is disappearance of pink color just stop the experiment so let's see and you can uh, also increase the speed of the titrant let's increase the speed of titrant yes so stop so when the color pink color disappears just stop the experiment and you can notice the result of the titrant use that is 2.1 ml so you can share um, these um, virtual lab links with your students to do virtual experiments on these platforms right uh, let's explore some other virtual lab experiment for example i'll go with colloid and surface chemistry lab so let's click on colloid and surface chemistry lab when you click on it so colloid and surface chemistry lab the page will open right now let's click on experiments so when you click on experiments so these are different types of experiments on colloid and surface chemistry lab so you uh, you can also uh, see introduction of uh, this colloid and surface chemistry lab objective then experiments then target audience feedback etc let's uh, explore this experiment preparation of salts so when you click on preparation of salts so introduction about preparation of salts is there so students can read this um, uh, introduction how salts can be prepared then when you click on objective so preparation of this experiment's objective is to study the change in the phenomena of surface tension with addition of colloids to water then uh, let's see procedure when you click on procedure so here are steps involving in preparation of salts so students can note down these steps for the preparation of salts from uh, this then click on simulator so when you click on simulator so that you have prerequisites installed to run experiment so click here to perform the experiment so yes for this experiment to run get adobe flash player so click here and click on allow so right click yes so now this simulation is there so just you have to follow the instructions which are written here so uh, he, it is saying that click on the beaker to pour water into it so click on the beaker right now adding water into beaker so it will add water into the beaker now click on the beaker to click on the ferric chloride powder to add to the beaker so click here so when you click adding ferric chloride into the beaker right now click on the glass rod to stir ferric chloride so click here on the glass rod so it will start stirring just you have to follow the instructions which are written here and uh, a student can perform the experiment click on the conical flask containing water so click here now click on the magnetic bead so magnetic bead right now heat uh, switch on the heater so click on the heater point then stirrer click on the stirrer switch now wait till the water boils now that the water gets started boiling switch off the heater so click here then click on the pipette and click on the pipette again so click here and again so the colloid is thus obtained so students can really enjoy doing these virtual experiments on virtual labs so you can explore other experiments as well so try to explore this uh, uh, virtual labs which are which is a very good initiative by mhrd so thank you so much